Welcome to What's Up Weekly. Thanks for tuning in on Tuesday, March 7th. And we wanna wish you a big, happy national day of... Pancakes. Pancakes. Excellent, everybody loves pancakes. Yes, and you may not know that IHOP is actually offering a free short stack. That's right. To anybody who comes in. Now, I think it, it needs to be said that IHOP is not an official sponsor of the show. No, not at all. Although if they're watching, they certainly can at any Please, time. Please, feel free. That's right. Um, an event coming up in our student ministry here in a couple weeks is laser tag. And we are really excited for this. It's a fun time for middle and high school students to get together, hang out, and build relationships, eat lots of pizza, and That's play right. laser tag That's down right. at Laser Quest. That's so, right. It's $20 per student, and we ask that they register on the church website by next Wednesday, March 15th. Folks, I'm a little bit ticked off that mm -hmm. I even have to make this next announcement. Um, we've been talking for about the last month or more about a daddy-daughter date night. Uh, dad's taking their daughters to go see Beauty and the Beast, the new uh, full-featured movie. Uh, I'm saddened by last Wednesday's press release that there is a... Uh, a gay character that uh, that Disney has incorporated into this film, and uh, I'm I'm just disheartened because this is another attempt by our culture mm -hmm. to normalize sexual behavior outside of God's design and plan for Absolutely. us, and so we are not going to be taking families daughters to go see Beauty and the Beast, and, uh, and families, you can expect to get an email from me kind of outlining my rationale mm -hmm. uh, for why we're not going to see Beauty and the Beast, um, but we want you to be aware of that. Yeah, thanks, Brian. Um, along the topic of sexuality and coming out of our service on Sunday, and we're going to take a little bit different approach. We're not going to have an official segment today, um, but just wanted to pass a couple resources along to you um, as you discuss sexuality and sexual purity with your kids. Um, I've heard it said, you know, if you're not talking to your kids about sexuality, who somebody is? Somebody else because is. Because somebody is, mm -hmm. um, and that's especially true in this day and age. Right. But if you go onto our website and you go under the media tab, live video stream, there's a button where you can click notes. And under that section, we've got about four resources um, provided to us by Rob Jackson in light of sexuality and sexual purity. Yeah. Um, one of which I want to make you aware of today is an article that says 12 ways to guard your child's heart from pornography. This is really helpful, I think, for parents. Um, there are three of those 12 that are um, hit the nail on the head. I think mm -hmm. they're great. They say, teach the attributes of God's nature. Um, another one is to embrace teachable moments mm -hmm. throughout the day and week. And then a third is to keep the lines of communication open. Right. So don't view this as just a one half hour talk you have, right. but years of conversations between you and your right. child. Right. Um, another resource, which I actually haven't seen, but I've heard a lot of good things about, is Passport to Purity. I highly you recommend it. You know something it. about that? Yes, I do. Okay. And so, folks, if you have not had a conversation with your preteen or, uh, or early teen about sex, uh, you, this is a fantastic tool that you should get. You can find it at Family Life today, and uh, you can order it right from their website. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, one other resource that we want to uh, make available to you, and we'll provide a link in the description box below, is a, uh, another resource that Rob Jackson left for us, mm -hmm. and it's the, the Colorado Statement on Biblical Sexual Morality. And this is a, uh, a statement that a group of pastors in Colorado back in 2000 wrote. This is a fantastically theological document that's going to be helpful for parents as you shape your uh, statement or position on sexuality for your home. Mm -hmm. And so we'd love to hear about how you are going to use that statement for your own family's boundaries. Absolutely. So, okay. So thank you. Well, that's the heavy stuff. It is. We're going to go into the light stuff. Let's go in the game. Let's do the game. Here All we right. go. It's, what is it? How many? How many what? How many what? So I'm told, all of which relate to the National Day of Pancakes. pancakes. So Hello, we, good pancake. we each have to come up with the number Right. Unit of measurement is given, okay. but related to these pancake statistics, All right. how many without going over, okay. as usual. And um, in an effort to practice conservation, That's save right. some money right. to buy more pancakes, we've got handy-dandy whiteboards All today right. to Al write our answers. Al Gore would be proud. He would. Okay. Question number one. On February 21st, 2012, an Australian man set the record for the most pancake Tosses in a minute for a total of how many tosses? How many tosses? I'm gonna say. Eighty-three tosses. Two hundred and three tosses. 
Oh, oh, all right. So you win. I do win. Yep, that's number one. Ah, you're leading. 1-0. All right. Here we go. Next one, number Russian two. Russian number two. All right. The largest pancake ever created was measured at how many feet and inches in, in diameter? diameter? Oh, man. Right. 41 feet, 7 inches. 12 feet, 2 inches. 49 feet. Wow. Ooh. What did you put? I put 41 feet. Man, so that's winning. That's close. Nothing. Man, at this point in my life, I do hate to lose more than I like to win. And so I'm, I'm in the hole here. 2-0. Right. Here we go, number three. An American man set a record for the highest pancake toss, launching it to a height of how many feet and inches before catching it again in a pan. That's incredible. That is. Um... Thirty-two feet. Twenty feet eight inches. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh come so that's, on! That's over. Oh man. <sighs> Brian, some would question your love of pancakes. You know what? I do this. love me a good pecan right. pancake. We'll see. All right, here we go. The highest stack of pancakes was constructed with a total of... 193. 160 pancakes. 213. I'm getting smoked. All right. 3-1. Three, three, All right. One question left. All right, since I'm not answering them right, I'm going to read it. <laughs> The fastest man to run a marathon while flipping a pancake continuously in a frying pan. Are you kidding me? He's running a marathon flipping pancakes. Continuously. Let's put flapjacks on this. Okay, the flapjack race. Um, fly, uh, continuously in a frying pan completed the Casino Niagara International in a time of... Oh, my. Three hours, 49 minutes, and 13 seconds. Two hours, 10 minutes. Ooh! Did I get one? You did, Man, Brian. at least I didn't get the bagel. All right, that's it. Three I didn't get the, the to two. Bagel. Well, I'm a loser, and that's it for What's Up Weekly. We'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs>